An essential communication skill often taken for granted is listening. Are you a good listener? Most people think being a good listener is about not talking when the other person speaks, or saying mmm, or nodding, or echoing what the other person says. According to research from Zenger and Folkman, good listening should not be thought of as a sponge passively absorbing what the speaker says. Instead, a good listener is like a trampoline that amplifies and supports what the speaker has to say by providing constructive feedback, just like someone jumping on a trampoline. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Dr. Owen. I'm a GP registrar. My mission is to help doctors lead a happy and sexual life. Every Thursday, I publish new video covering the subject of GP training, well-being and high performance. Listening is indeed more than just being silent and allowing the other person to speak. Good listening is extremely valuable in connecting with another person and working collaboratively. Like every skill, we need to keep honing our listening skill to be a good listener. The first step to be a listener is choosing to listen. If you don't want to listen, then it's difficult to be a good listener. So it starts by first committing to listen. People listen at different levels. When we make small talk, we may be listening at a superficial level. If we're talking about something more important, then we may be listening at a deeper level. What are the levels you try to achieve when you're listening to your patient? What are the barriers that prevent you from listening? We can classify listening into six different levels, from passive listening to pretend to be listening, selective listening, attentive listening, active listening, and the highest level is empathic listening. Let's jump right into it. The lowest level of listening is passive listening. In passive listening, you're not making much effort to listen to the person. You're where the person is speaking, but you pay little attention to what is being said. You may be more concerned about when the person stops speaking so that you can interject in the conversation. The person may feel that he or she is being ignored. The second level is pretend listening. This is where you give the impression that you're listening. You may give verbal or nonverbal indicators that you're listening when you're actually distracted by something else. You may say to the speaker, mm, I can hear you, I see what you're saying. But you're actually thinking of something completely different. Have you ever been in a conversation when you could tell that the other person was not genuinely listening to you? People can easily tell when you're distracted or thinking about something else and you're not listening. The speaker may feel frustrated that you're not actually listening. The next level of listening is something that many of us are good at and this is selective listening. We do not pay attention to the entirety of the message of the speaker. We only pay attention to words or phrases that appeal to our interests. If the person goes on to talk about something that we don't think is important, then we pretend to be listening or we dismiss it altogether and ignore what the person is saying. Level four is attentive listening. Attentive listening requires the person to pay close attention to what is being said. The attentive listener is intellectually engaged in the conversation and pays attention to what the speaker says, sometimes even asking follow-up questions, probing questions to gain more information so that he or she can understand from his or her own perspective. The main focus of the attentive listener is to grasp an understanding of the substance of what the speaker is saying. Level five is active listening. Active listening requires both an intellectual and emotional engagement from the listener. We listen not only with our ears, but also our eyes. We pick up verbal and nonverbal cues from the speaker facial expression, tone of voice, or any gestures, any body language that the speaker might be expressing. Active listeners acknowledge what the speaker says and validate their emotions. They also ask very good questions. Active listeners listen to comprehend the speaker so that they feel heard. They may reflect back to the speaker to show understanding, such as, I hear your pain. Last but not least is empathic listening. This is the highest level of listening. To be successful in empathic listening, we need to give time and our undivided attention to the speaker. 
Empathic listening requires the listener to be non-judgmental. It doesn't mean that we agree with everything the listener may say, but we need to be willing to step out of ourselves and step in the shoes of the other person to not only understand the thoughts, feelings and emotion of the other person, but to empathize with the feeling, the experience and to see it from the person's perspective. Let me share a story with you. This is a story of a person who failed his exam multiple times and lost all hope. His confidence was rock bottom. When I spoke to him, I gave him my undivided attention and listened to what he said. I gave him a safe space to articulate and clarify his thoughts. He felt heard and understood. Listening to him helped us to build a strong connection. He was then open to listen. So I asked him a question. Do you think you can pass this exam? He couldn't answer the question at the time, but recognized that he needed to start believing in himself. This conversation reframed his mindset and he finally passed his exam. The essence of empathic listening is to be able to communicate that understanding to the other person so that they not only understand that we know what they are going through, but that we can relate with their experience. I'm curious to know, what level of listening do you use most of the time? Do you use mostly active listening, or do you use attentive listening, or do you use selective listening? Let me know down in the comment section. I look forward to reading your comment. Thank you for watching this video up until now. I'm going to conclude this video by a quote from Stephen Covey. In empathic listening, you listen with your ears, but you also, and more importantly, listen with your eyes and with your heart. You listen for feeling, for meaning. You listen for behavior. You use your right brain as well as your left. You sense, you intuit, you feel. If you like this video, make sure you smash the like button to help this channel to grow. This also encourages me to make more videos like this. If you've not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos so that you don't miss any future videos and don't forget to ring the bell so that you're notified each time I publish a new video. Take care everybody, bye bye.